at the end of the day, if the plan doesn't work, change the plan, never the goal. There's still time to reach those goals before 2025. And today I'm going to tell you exactly how. Whether you're feeling a bit stuck, overwhelmed, or just need a little boost, this video is for you. Hey babes, and welcome back to my channel. I'm Julithia Trinate, and if you are new to my channel, welcome. I hope to have you as a new subscriber, but if you are a returning subscriber, then hey girl, hey, welcome back. Let's get into it. Today, we are diving into something very important. Oftentimes, we lose focus or get ran off of our initial course of things, and although that is completely normal, it's important to recognize that you are off track and really find a way to refocus and reset your mindset so that you are able to achieve those goals that you set for yourself initially. We are just arriving into the second half of the year and I for one can tell you that I have been knocked so far off track from my goals that I couldn't even tell you up from down, left from right, right from back. Okay, I'm kidding. Well, kind of, but you get the point. The point is I set goals for myself in the beginning of the year that I may or may not have stayed true to thus far. And in order to ensure that I complete these goals, I have to take a step back, look at the bigger picture of things, where I currently am and where I want to be, and then reassess. There's still time to reach those goals before 2025. And today, I'm going to tell you exactly how. Whether you're feeling a bit stuck, overwhelmed, or just need a little boost, this video is for you. So grab a notebook and a pen. We're going to get hands-on with some actionable steps that will help you realign with your goals and set yourself up for success. So let's talk about progress. Go back through your notebook, your notes on your phone, your pictures, posts, whatever it is that you document on and compare it to where you are right now in this current time. Take a moment to look back at what you've achieved so far this year. I touched on this topic in my previous video and I'll say it again here. Celebrate your wins, no matter how small. Write them down and acknowledge how far you've come because sometimes seeing that progress or seeing your original vision is enough inspiration on alone to get you back on track. This will not only boost your confidence, but it will give you a clearer picture of your journey. Even if there's not much that has changed, slow progress is better than no progress. And as long as you just work to improve yourself every day, know that a little progress each day adds up to big results. If you haven't started, start today. And then a month from now, you can either have a whole month of progress or a whole month of excuses why you don't. Make it happen, girl. The time is now. Next, I want you to reflect on the challenges that you face. What is it that is holding you back from being the best version of yourself? Because usually those are the same hurdles that you've created a bad habit out of. It is hard sometimes to pinpoint exactly what the reason is, but once you do, it's like, boom. That's it. That's what's holding me back. And the quicker you can pinpoint what that exact reason is, the quicker you will be on your way to achieving those goals that you set for yourself in the very beginning. Ask yourself, is it time management, a lack of resources, maybe even self-doubt, you getting into your head a lot. Identifying these challenges is no easy task, but so very important because in knowing what hinders you allows you to strategize on how to avoid making those same mistakes again in the future and stopping you from reaching your goals. Okay, babes, look at your goals and see if they still resonate with you. And the reason I say this is because people change, things change, situations change, and sometimes our priorities change, and that's okay. But if they no longer resonate with you for whatever reason, update your goals. You want your goals to reflect your current self, you know, or your current desires, your current aspirations. And when making those new goals, Factor in some of those same qualities that you considered when you made your original goals, if it's possible, depending on how much you plan to change them. Now, if your goals are still resonating with your current mindset, revisit them to remind yourself of the end goal. Use them in combination with reflecting on your progress to inspire you and to push you to keep at it. One of my favorite quotes, I don't remember who the person is that said it, but it's one of my favorite quotes. I live by it and it goes something like, Always ask yourself if what you're doing today is getting you closer to where you wanna to be tomorrow. If the answer to that question is no, then you need to reassess, 
and revise. And don't be afraid to set timelines or curate a type of plan to keep yourself accountable. Apply that pressure if you know that you can handle it because at the end of the day, if the plan doesn't work, change the plan, never the goal. Another one of my favorite quotes, I used to have this written on my whiteboard in my office, but it said, a goal without a plan is just a wish. And last I checked, genies don't exist. So have a plan. Break down your goals if you need to into smaller, more manageable and achievable goals that ultimately help you get to the bigger picture. Don't be afraid to set deadlines and find a way to keep track of it all. Most of the time, having a clear action plan makes your goals feel way more attainable and it keeps you accountable along the way. But whatever you do, no matter how many times you need to reset or refocus, just stay consistent and adjust as needed. I know it sounds cliche and we've heard it a billion times before, but consistency really is key. And the harder you work for something, the greater you will feel when you achieve it. Keep working on your goals daily and regularly. And don't be afraid to adjust your plan if it's not working for you. Flexibility is also a part of the journey. So take it in if you need to, but just keep going. Remember, you have the power to achieve anything you set your mind to. And with focus, dedication, and a clear plan, you can make incredible progress before 2025. Okay? All right. There's still time. All right, babes, that concludes today's video. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and hit that notification bell so that you can be notified every time I post a video. What this does is it tells YouTube that you want to continue to push my content to others, and it really helps me to grow on this platform. So show me some love, show me some support, and I greatly appreciate it. As always, thank you guys so much for watching, and always remember to be yourself, be you, be beautiful, and be untamed and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!